Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to show how to turn 2 sevenths into a decimal through long division. So the first thing we're going to do is take 2, right, and divide it by 7. Now 7, we can think of 7 going really into 20. This makes the problem a little bit easier, and really is not going to 20. We're thinking of it going to 2, but proportionally speaking, we're kind of shrinking this whole process down, and it works. 7 goes into 20 two times, and 7 times 2 is 14. 20 minus 14 is 6. 7 goes into 60 now. I guess it's not really 60, this is 0. 0.6, but we're thinking of it proportionally. So 7 goes into 60 eight times, so 8 times 7 is 56. We subtract these two and get 4. 7 goes into 40 now. It goes into 40 um, five times. 7 times 5 is 35. 30, 40 minus 35 is 5. Carry this zero down here. Seven goes into fifty-seven times. Seven times seven is forty-nine, and fifty minus forty-nine is one. Seven goes into ten one time. Seven times one is seven. Ten minus seven is three. Does seven go into three? Well, it goes into thirty. It goes into it uh, four times. Seven times four is twenty-eight, and thirty minus twenty-eight is two. So again, 7 doesn't go into 2, but we can think of it going into 20, and it goes into it twice. And already, what's starting to happen is we're getting a repeating pattern. Right? See this 2 repeating here. And if you keep going, the digits would keep repeating. The chunk that keeps repeating is 285714, forever. And you can try it. Keep going in a long division. It's a great thing to do because you get to see it for yourself. That 2 divided by 7, if you do it forever, all you will get is 0 0.285714 repeating forever and ever and ever. That's called a repeating decimal. All right, hope this helped.